Have you ever pondered upon an invisible line that separates two distinct worlds of wildlife? This isn't a riddle from a fantasy novel. It's a very real yet unseen boundary that slices through the heart of the Indonesian archipelago. Known as the Wallace Line, it is a demarcation that divides the fauna of Asia and Australasia in a way that has baffled scientists for over a century. Named after the British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace, who first noticed this strange division during his travels in the mid-19th century, this line has been a subject of scientific curiosity and debate. Wallace, a contemporary of Charles Darwin, was exploring the lush, diverse ecosystems of the Indonesian islands when he noticed a peculiar pattern. On one side of a seemingly arbitrary line, the wildlife was distinctly Asian in character. Cross that line and suddenly the animals bore a closer resemblance to those found in Australia. The location of this line is as mysterious as the phenomenon it represents. It doesn't follow any geographical feature, like a river or mountain chain. Instead, the Wallace Line meanders through the sea, cutting between islands, creating a biological boundary that is as clear as it is inexplicable. And yet, the Wallace Line is not just an oddity or a curiosity. It's a very real border that has profound implications for our understanding of evolution and biodiversity. For within this invisible boundary lies the key to a mystery that has perplexed scientists for over 150 years. What could possibly explain the abrupt change in animal life from one island to the next? How could two regions so close in proximity be home to such vastly different species? So, what is it about this line that creates such a stark difference in the biodiversity on either side? Imagine an invisible boundary where on one side you find tigers and on the other kangaroos, a line that separates worlds of wildlife as distinctly as night and day. This, dear listeners, is the enigma we call the Wallace Line. The Wallace Line, named after the naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace, is not just a geographical marvel, but a biological one. To the west of the line, in the region known as Sunderland, we find species typical of Asia. Tigers prowl through the undergrowth, orangutans swing from tree to tree, and rhinoceroses stomp through the swamps. Cross over to the east of the line and you're in a different world altogether. Here in the landmass known as Sahul, the wildlife is of Australian origin. Kangaroos hop across vast plains, koalas munch on eucalyptus leaves and wombats burrow into the earth. Yet the line itself is not a wide ocean or a towering mountain range. It's a relatively narrow strait of water which raises the question how can such a small geographical feature result in such a drastic difference in wildlife? The video link we've been examining provides some tantalizing clues. It suggests that the key lies not just in the physical geography, but in the historical movement of continents, the rise and fall of sea levels, and the climatic changes over millions of years. And yet, even with these clues, the full answer remains elusive. Scientists continue to delve into this mystery, piecing together clues from the past and present in an attempt to unravel the secrets of the Wallace Line. But what causes this drastic shift in animal species across the Wallace Line? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating enigma in the next scene. Let's embark on a journey back in time, millions of years ago, when the continents were one. Our planet, in its primordial state, was a vast singular landmass known as Pangaea. Over eons, this supercontinent began to fracture and drift apart, giving birth to the continents we know today. This monumental shift in Earth's crust is what we refer to as the theory of continental drift. Proposed in the early 20th century by Alfred Wegener, a German meteorologist, this theory suggests that continents are not stationary, but are instead constantly moving at a slow pace. Picture this, the continents moving as slowly as your fingernails grow. Over millions of years, this gradual movement has significantly shaped the world's geography. Now you may wonder, what does this have to do with the Wallace Line? A fair question indeed. The Wallace Line, named after the British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace, is a boundary that separates the ecozones of Asia and Australasia. On either side of this line, species vary drastically a phenomenon that perplexed scientists for years. Continental drift plays a key role in this mystery. As the land masses drifted apart, they carried with them 
distinct groups of species. Over time, these isolated populations evolved independently, resulting in the varied and unique biodiversity we observe today. Imagine a giant jigsaw puzzle, with each piece representing a continent, drifting and colliding over millions of years. Each piece carries its own unique set of life forms, and as they move and interact, the picture of life on Earth changes. This is precisely what happened along the Wallace Line. The movement of these land masses created natural barriers such as deep ocean trenches that further isolated wildlife, allowing unique species to flourish on either side of the line. Over time, these barriers became biogeographical lines of demarcation, like the Wallace Line, separating distinct ecological worlds. Thus, the shift of continents might have been the architect of the Wallace Line. Climate and sea levels, two powerful forces shaping the world and its biodiversity. These elements have played a pivotal role in the remarkable biodiversity observed on either side of the Wallace Line. The climate, the weather patterns over long periods, significantly influences the types of habitats that can exist in a particular area. In regions closer to the equator, the climate is typically warmer, creating a perfect environment for a rich variety of plant and animal species. Conversely, areas further from the equator tend to be colder, with fewer species able to withstand the harsh conditions. This is why the lush tropical rainforests of Borneo, on the Asian side of the Wallace Line, are teeming with a diverse range of species. Then we have the sea levels, an equally influential player in this natural drama. Over thousands of years, the Earth has witnessed periods of glaciation known as ice ages, when sea levels dropped significantly. During these times, land bridges were exposed between islands and continents, allowing species to migrate and colonize new habitats. This is believed to have contributed to the stark difference in species between the Asian and Australian sides of the Wallace Line. But when these ice ages ended and the glaciers melted, sea levels rose again, submerging these land bridges and isolating species. Over time, these isolated populations evolved independently, leading to the unique biodiversity we see today. However, the climate is not a constant, and neither are the sea levels. They fluctuate, they change, and with them, so does the biodiversity of our planet. Climate change, the significant and lasting alteration in global weather patterns and changing sea levels continue to shape the distribution and diversity of life on Earth. The natural forces of climate and sea then have painted this vivid picture of wildlife diversity. As we stand today, the Wallace Line continues to baffle and inspire. This invisible boundary, first charted by the 19th century naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace, remains a hotbed of scientific exploration and discussion. Despite the advancements in our understanding of the world, the Wallace Line continues to hold its ground, steadfast and enigmatic, challenging scientists and researchers alike. In the realm of biodiversity studies, the Wallace Line serves as a fascinating case study, a natural experiment of sorts. No other place on Earth presents such a stark contrast in species distribution within such a relatively small geographic area. This unique dichotomy continues to provide invaluable insights into the intricate workings of evolution and speciation. Current research on the line is more vibrant and diverse than ever. Scientists are leveraging advanced technologies like satellite imaging and genetic sequencing to delve deeper into the mysteries of the Wallace line. They're examining not just the fauna, but also the flora, the soil and the very air in search of clues that could unlock the secrets of this invisible boundary. The Wallace Line is also playing a pivotal role in conservation efforts. By helping us understand how species have evolved and adapted over millennia, it provides critical information to protect endangered species and preserve biodiversity in an increasingly threatened world. Yet even as we continue to learn and understand more about the Wallace Line, it retains an air of mystery. It serves as a stark reminder of the vast complexities of our natural world, a world that we are only just beginning to comprehend. It stands as a testament to the enduring power of nature's unpredictability and the infinite possibilities it holds. The Wallace Line, an invisible yet powerful symbol of nature's mysterious ways.
Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.